a lot of us are excited to use System 76's Cosmic Rust desktop. And I'm here today with some fantastic Cosmic desktop updates brought to you by System 76. The October updates are now here. And one of the big ones is the lock and login screens, which I want to start out by showing you a prototype for. They chose quite the wallpaper here for us. It looks wonderful. Someone wandering away thinking about the cosmos here. And against that backdrop, we have what is the login screen and greeter here for the new cosmic rust based desktop. So does this work? Yes, it does. We'll check it out. First things first, you can select a keyboard depending on which style you use. This is great for people who are using the same workstation and can select between various different languages in case they're more comfortable using a different language. I do like the keyboard settings and layout being directly available here. And we also have what seems to be something for accessibility. Can't quite use that yet, but we can select a different user. As you select a different user, you'll notice that the username over here on the right hand side has changed. So we can cruise between a few of them, including entering in one manually. You can put the username in manually and then a password. But overall, we have a very elegantly themed minimal setup here where we see current Wi-Fi or wired connection, the percentage left on your battery if you have a laptop computer, what time it is and the date currently before you log in. I'm not quite sure what this is going to be, whether or not it's a dark mode setting or perhaps a do not disturb or maybe a night mode. I'm sure we'll be seeing more information on this in the future, but let's actually log in to see the effects here. So first off, I'm gonna to go to Jane Doe and they actually gave us a password here to try in this prototype. So by typing in the very secret password, I'm gonna click enter and look at that. It animates slowly in and we now have our cosmic desktop. They've made it very subtle and beautiful in my opinion. Great animation, slowly easing in to the desktop. So let's see what happens when you log out. Does that have an animation as well? Yes, it does. A great fade away back into our login screen and we'll test logging right back in. Looks wonderful. Gotta say they've done a great job with this greeter and login. That new prototype test definitely has me excited about some of the styling that Cosmic is going to bring to us. But let's talk about the October updates that they have for us as well. Halloween is fast approaching, so we're handing out Cosmic treats to all who approach our digital door. These delectable sweets take in form of new features for the Cosmic Desktop Environment, a new desktop environment we're building for Pop! OS and other distros, which this is key. If you haven't caught on to that yet, yes, they are making this new desktop environment suitable for other distros. Now this has been mentioned in passing before, but for System76 to come out and specify it directly in their post, that's a fantastic thing to understand that this won't only be available for Pop! OS, although it will be fantastic on it, but we'll hopefully be getting it in the likes of Ubuntu, Arch, Mint, Void, and many other distributions out there. Anyways, we're gonna take a peek under the mask, as it says here, at the latest progress. We've already talked about a major update, which is the lock and login screens, which are now complete. We tested that out a little bit, and they mention, again, that you can check the date time, Wi-Fi, battery, keyboard, and switch users. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that you can switch your sessions with this cog icon. The prototype doesn't have that built in, so I didn't get to show you that. But as you can mention, you can select between things like different desktop environments, XFCE or KDE, Cosmic Desktop, GNOME, whatever you want. Anyways, the login screen defaults to the user that was last logged in. Check out the prototype if you want. I'm not giving away Jane's super secret password, but you can figure it out pretty quickly here. And also what's wonderful is System76 gave us access to that wonderful wallpaper created by Greg here. Definitely check this out. I'll post the link in the description below as well. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be wanting this wallpaper. At least I know I want it. So I'm super thankful that they were able to share that. Also, there's a ton of people out there already downloaded over 3 million people. I'm sure you want to keep talking about that wallpaper, but let's talk about what else is new to Cosmic Desktop Environment. They're implementing the appearance settings. An early design of Cosmic appearance settings are in the process of being implemented. In the settings panel, you can choose between default light and dark themes and customize the colors used in each. The team's been experimenting with theming and the results have ranged from a bright cherry blossom to a sophisticated red wine to something one may call hellish. Additionally, something I'm super excited about is theming support is being added to Cosmic Compositor. 
so that any theming changes are made immediately visible. Why is this important? Because as you're making changes to the GUI, it will be immediately and directly visible as you change things. That way you can customize on the fly and it makes it super easy for debugging. Fantastic. As not all compositors offer this in which you have to do goofy things like log out and log back in. Anyways, let's keep talking about early design for per workspace tiling. Tile windows in one workspace and float windows in another. Initial designs have undergone usability testing and adjustments are being made to this exciting new feature. We'll provide more in a future blog post once it's closer to being completed. Community contribution, Cosmic Tiling Applet. A member of the community has completed an early version of the tiling applet for Cosmic Desktop Environment. The applet is where you can toggle window tiling on or off, show or hide hints, and view important tiling shortcuts. Great work to Eduardo, who gave us this tiling applet with many different options available easily and directly on the main status bar up top. I didn't get to play around with this one, but clearly a great shortcut to some of our most used things. I do like the attention to detail and actually including shortcuts directly in the menu that tells you how to use certain things just in case you forgot or you question yourself, it's available right away in the menu for this particular tiling applet. More updates in October, support for modifier only key bindings, modifier keys such as control, shift, alt, affect the actions that take place on a key press. Sometimes though, presses pressing solely a modifier key can have the same effect. For example, the super key activating the launcher or the alt key showing the top bar buttons in Firefox Support has been added for this and at least one Cosmic team member is very happy to have their launcher shortcut back. Pointer constraints, such as confining it to a certain region or locking it into a place, has been added. This is used alongside the relative pointer protocol in specialized cases, such as in gaming, where you want to focus on a particular window. Opening or navigating to a full screen game hides the pointer from view and locks it into place while mouse motions are tracked and translated to in-game actions. You can imagine how annoying it would be if you're playing a game and you have a cursor or pointer, much like mine on the screen, that wasn't captured by the window itself that the game exists in. The DMA buff screen capture support. This buffer sharing tool improves performance with tools like OBS and enables devices in your system like the GPU to synchronize and share buffers with one another across multiple drivers. Some quality of life improvements. DRM leasing for VR device support. Wayland relies on a subsystem, the DRM or the direct rendering manager to render games onto a display. But VR headsets being a specialized immersive display perform the same functions themselves to provide a better experience. So DMR leasing now in Cosmic Compositor, the Cosmic Wayland Compositor enables this by lending the system resources to your headset that requires to render and display the game image. Finally, some UI development. We've expanded our UI capabilities by adding a couple software pieces, further implementing the UX designs or user experience. Using a new layout library tool called Taffy, we are able to implement a new grid layout widget. This was one of the most important widgets to implement, says Cosmic Engineer Michael, because it will enable the creation of complex layouts with proper alignments using minimal code. And definitely fantastic work to Michael, who I know has been hard at work with this grid layout widget to give us these proper alignments. This is definitely another exciting feature. We can see all the various different button standards that are being implemented in the background, all within a very beautiful grid layout. As we can see, things are aligned in a very strategic and simple manner, and is definitely something that needs to be, of course, thought about as it makes for a great user experience. A lot goes into the development of these desktop environments. It's super exciting to be following along here with System76 and team on how they're developing things. Super glad I got to do this October update as well. Let me know what you're thinking about the new greeter and login screen in the comments section below. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.